I would like to welcome everyone out to the ball game tonight here at Calhoun Academy as it's homecoming here at Calhoun Academy. I'd like to say congratulations to Casey Crump as she was crowned 1999 homecoming queen. Cougars are set to kick off here. Appears that it's going to be appears to be Rusty Stegall set to kick off. Calhoun Academy will be taking on the Macon Central Vikings tonight. We don't have a listing of the names here right now with this for Macon Central. We'll try to get those as soon as we can. But to receive is number 23. Here goes the kick from Rusty Stegall. It's a low kick. Hops to number seven. Seven takes it up to the middle. A nice return there by the Vikings as you see the air, hear the air horn across the way going off with the Vikings. One of the Viking fans bringing an air horn with them tonight. Sprayberry on the tackle. That'd be Colby Sprayberry. So it's going to be first down 10 to go for the Macon Central Vikings. Number 10 is your quarterback, Thompson. Gives the number Gives the number 20 for the Vikings. 20 is Reed. Matthew White on the tackle for the Cougars. Said game of about five on the play that time. Be second down and five to go. Thompson steps under center, eye in the backfield. Give to the first man through. Appears that he got far enough for the first down, making Central looks like they're moving the ball pretty good here early in the ball game as Reed carries the ball once again for the Vikings. And that was a first down, so that's going to be first down for the Vikings. Number 51, the senior, Joel Bryant, on the tackle that time. Thompson steps under at quarterback. Keeper by Thompson. He tries to jump over the top, but the Rusty Stegall appeared to be there to stop. No, to make that correction, that's going to be number 10, Pepper Watts. Appears to be a long number 52, Brad Hubbard, but not after he gained eight yards on the play. It'd be second down and two to go. Number 10, Brandon Gosprick on the carry. That's made by Pepper Watts. Josh Jones. Whistles on the play. Flags fly. Offsides on the offense, so that's going to back him up five yards, back it second down. And seven, we'll say six to go, second down and six. 10-31 here in the ball game. Give to the first man through. No, check that. Number Thompson tried to keep the keeper, but that was number 52, Brad Hubbard, in there to clog it up and sort of mix him up on the handoff there, make that number 72 also in on the table. Brandon Lofton, so Hubbard and Lofton doing a good job that time of getting in the backfield. We'll say a loss of uh, half a yard on the play, but he's still third down and six to go. About a third down, about six for the back. Thompson still your quarterback, eye backfield. Thompson back to pass. Throws it out to number 14, and it was incomplete. Just overthrew him. Pass was incomplete, incomplete intended for Moore that time, number 14. All righty, we had a little camera difficulty that time, but we're back up. Good punt, gotten away by number 65 that time. Josh Chandler back to receive. It's going deep into their own territory, but he decides to pick it up and reverse his field. Josh Chandler upended by number 23. Big shot there by number 23 as he almost flipped Chandler head over heels that time. 
as Chandler tried to reverse field and Chandler up limping it off. It appears the Cougars are going to be taken over by their own eight yard line. Cougars are head coached by Jeff King. Currently with a two and three record, both these teams are on a losing streak. Cougars have lost their last three, as well as the Vikings have lost their last five. The only win coming this year for the Vikings has been the first game of the year against Heidelberg Academy, 29 to seven. It really showed they just have not been able to get together. It's the rest of the last four ball games or five ball games have been really a, a blowout for the Vikings. So the Vikings trying to turn around here tonight. The Pierce started off pretty well, able to pick up two consecutive first downs, but they had to punt it away to the Cougars. To so give this to number 31, Rusty Stegall. Stegall was tackled that time by, appears to be number 89. Correct that, that's going to be number 99. Rusty Stegall only picked up two yards that time, so it's going to be second down and eight to go. Pepper Watts, Russia Stigall, and Matthew White in the backfield. Kenneth Tharp is your quarterback for the Cougars. Give to the first man through White. He ran into his own man that time. He had a big hole opening there for the second, but it closed up quick as he ran into the back of one of his linemen. Gain of maybe two on the play, so we're going to say third down and six to go. Kenneth Arts, your quarterback, White, Stig Allen Watts in the backfield. A quick pass up the middle was intended for number 24, Thomas Card, was incomplete. Almost an interception that time. Really caught, I guess you'd say caught number 14 off guard that time. Really wasn't expecting a pass to come over the middle to him like that. Break for the Cougars that time, but it appears the Cougars went to punt it away as Rusty Stig will be standing in his own end zone to get this one off. Of course, Rusty Stigall, the first week of action for the Cougars in their Deer Creek game, was named one of the performers of the week by the Clarion Ledger. Really has had a tough season since then as it was a low snap. Stigall's able to get away a great kick that time. Bounces at the 40, picked up at the 45. Number 23 on the return. Brace to the outside. And there is going to be a flag on the play. Return of, I want to say... 10 yards, a good punt there by Stigall that time, putting out on back of his end zone, able to get it off to the 40. But there is a flag on the play. And it's going to go against the Macon Central Vikings. So negate that run back there, pretty good run back that time. This will be a clipping penalty, I do believe, blocking in the back. So that's going to back him up 15 yards to the 47-yard 40, line. So look at the sidelines, we see the Cougar cheerleaders. Again, I'd like to say congratulations to Casey Crump, named Calhoun Academy's homecoming queen in 19 this year. Thompson's your quarterback. Gift to the second man through, number 22, but was tackled quickly by number 52, Brad Hubbard. Number 22 is going to be Wesley Moore, so we have two Moores on the team, number 14 and number 22. So Moore and Reed in the backfield for the Vikings. Thompson is your quarterback. Pitch out to number 22. Hit hard that time by number 25, Josh Chandler. I guess you could say speared that time. Looked like Goldberg as he slammed it to the ground. But it appeared to be a gain of six. We're going to say it's going to be third down and a long four to go. But good tackle that time by Josh Chandler. Thompson brings his line to the, brings his line up to the ball. Number 40 and 22 in the backfield. Wesley Moore in the dots the eye. Fake rolling out the pass. Brad Hubbard's on the chase. Just could not get to him. 
Almost intercepted by Josh Chandler and almost picked up that time by number 14, the other Moore. We're going to check that. It's going to be number 23, Brad Pimenta. Intended receiver that time, but was incomplete. So it'll be fourth down and about five to go. Willie McGee to punt, number 55. Josh Chandler about to receive. Almost blocked by Brandon Lawton, but a great punt. And I tell you what, the Cougars got a long way to go as the ball was down inside their own five yard line. Take a look at the score clock and some of the Cougar fans at the ball game tonight. But right now the story of the ball game has been the good punting by permit, uh, by uh, making Central is uh, pin the Cougars back both times inside their own 10 yard line. This time the Cougars on about the four. Tharp is your quarterback. Stigall, Watts, and White in the backfield. It looks like there's a fumble on the play that time as they tried to hand it off to Pepper Watts. And Macon Central comes up with the fumble recovery. Number 65 picked it up for, for the Vikings. That's Willie McGee. So a break here for the Vikings as Thompson steps under the center. He appears to give is to the first man through, number 20, Reed, and he takes it in for six. So the Vikings strike with 6.14 left. Running in appears to be a three-yard touchdown by Moore. Willie McGee to set up and kick the point after your attempt. Kick is up and it is good. So your score is now seven to nothing. Bacon Central with 6.14 left here in the first quarter. And we'll be back with the kickoff. Just let it run, I guess. I don't think that messed the video up even when I pulled that out a while ago. Uh -huh. This is doing I don't think it Probably not. And we're back as Willie McGee is set to tee it off for the Vikings. Back to receive is number 24, Thomas Carr, number 12, Kenneth Tharp, number 10, Pepper Watts, and number 21, Matthew White. Willie McGee has really done an excellent job for the Vikings tonight, punting, pinning the Cougars back within the 10 yard line. High kickoff, looks like it's going to fall to number 24, Thomas Card. Carr looking for a place to run, nowhere to go. It was tackled by a whole host of Vikings that time as it appears that he brought the ball out to the 28-yard line. Make that the 30-yard line, gave him a good spot that time. So the Cougars take over first and 10 on their 30-yard line. Really sure this has been the best field position so far for the Cougars as they've been pinned, as I said, by the great punter, or a good job of punting tonight so far by the Vikings. Tharp is your quarterback. White, Stigall, and Watts in the backfield. Give this to Stigall as he takes it up the middle, and there's no doing there as making Central just clogged up the hole and really punished Stigall that time. Leading the way was number 99, Higginbottom, with the tackle as he laid that big hit on Stigall, stopped him in the hole. So they're going to give Stigall maybe a half a yard gain, so we'll say it's still second down and 10 to go. Tharp still your quarterback, same backfield for the Cougars. Oh, 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 
Cougars trying an option that time. And luckily for the Cougars that time, number seven tried to pick that one up and run it in for the score, and he was unable to do it, and Rusty Stigall was there to pick it up. So fumble recovery by Stigall as the Cougars tried the option that time, and Tharp was hit, hit in the backfield. So that makes it third down, and I want to say 16 to go. White and Stigall in the backfield. Cavanor and Chandler are your receivers. Tharp, quick pass over to Chandler. Josh Chandler trying to make his way over. Appears that Chandler got the Cougars back to where they started the original line of scrimmage, maybe gained an extra yard that time. Or two, we'll say it's fourth down and eight to go for the Cougars. So once again, the Cougars are gonna be forced to punt. Stigall is back to punt. Number 23 and number 10 is back to receive Thompson and Pimento. Low snap again to Stigall. Stigall gets this one up. It's high but short. It takes a Viking bounce and the Cougars appear to down it at the 46 yard line. So the Cougars offense is sort of stalling early in the ball game, unable to get anything started here. Jeremy Brown down the ball that time for the Cougars, number 81. The Vikings only score tonight was off a Cougar fumble on the three yard line and they was able to stick it in from three yards out. The PAT was good afterwards. But the Cougars offense have yet to get anything started. So it'll be first down and 10 to go for the Vikings. Give to the second man through, number 22. As he is brought down by number 24, Thomas Carr. Thomas Carr is senior this year. So number 22, Wesley Morrow. Thompson's your quarterback. Give to the fake that time. This is opted out to number 22, Morrow. Morrow ridden out of bounds by Watts. And that is going to be a first down for the Vikings. The Vikings offense are doing a pretty good job here. Proving they're better than what their record says, one in five. Cougars have a two and three record. Thompson is your quarterback. Fake that time and an option once again to Morrow as he breaks to the outside. This option play has been the bread and butter tonight for the Vikings, working every time as he picks up two consecutive, two consecutive first, down, first downs in a row. So this Viking team is really pumped up as they're able to run the ball pretty well right now on the Cougars. Cougars need to find a way to stop Stop the run here, the option. Go, boys! The give is to the first man through, and he is dragging men with him as he goes down the field. As he brought the ball out to the, appears to be 15-yard line, and right now the Vikings team is really pumped up. You hear them hollering in the huddle and stuff. So right now the Cougars just need to come up with some kind of stop as they're not able to stop this running game of the Vikings. 3-10 left here in the first quarter. 7 to nothing is your score. The Vikings up over the Cougars. Homecoming night here at Calhoun Academy in Billy D. Cook Field is to give us the first man through. Hit by number 21, Michael Cavanor. But he's unable to hold him up as he was able to fall forward for a gain of about three or four. I was informed that number 21 is not Michael Cavanor. We don't have him on the list. So we would be wrong there. I believe number 21 is going to be Brian Allen. 
Pepper Watts doing a good job of pursuit that time, able to stop the option. Pepper Watts on the tackle. So correct me on that, number 21 is Brian Allen on that last call. They have him listed as number 20 in the, in the program. Third down and five to go. Thompson is your quarterback. Back to pass. Float over the middle, number 40, and it is complete as the Vikings have scored again. Number 40, Tony Moore on the reception that time for the second touchdown in this first quarter. There is a flag on the play on the kickoff here. William McGee, but we'll see what the flag is. It's going to be all sides against the Cougars. So the Vikings are going to re retry the PAT. Snap is high, but looks like they're going to go for two here. Thomas Card on, on the outside, but could not run him down as number 10 runs it in for the two point conversion. So 148 in the ball game, 15 to nothing is your score. Calhoun Academy on the losing end so far in this ball game, and we'll be back after this. Uh, the one you see the guy in the green hat, and green jacket. And we're back as you take a look at Jeff Keen there right now. His Cougars are trailing 50 to nothing with 148 left here in this first quarter. Homecoming night at Billy D. Cook Field. Number 65, William McGee set to kick off. Doing a good job with the kicking game tonight for the Macon Central Vikings. Kick is off and he's going to go to Kenneth Tharp of the Cougars. Tharp hits the sidelines, looking for some room to run, but it's met by the number 99, the big man for Macon Central, but he did bring the ball out to appear to be about the 47-yard line, so good run that time by Kenneth Tharp. Hickenbottom on the tackle. So it's going to be first down and 10 for the Cougars in the best field, best field spot they've had in the first quarter in the ball game, really and truly at the 47-yard line. Cougars really need to find something that will work here on, on the offense. As they've been trying to run it up the middle, but Macon Central has been there to clog it up every time. White and, and Stegall in the backfield. Pitch out to Stegall. Stegall looking for a place to run, looking for some blockers. No, nothing doing that time. Stegall not getting really any blocking that time as he was hitting the backfield. It appeared to be a loss of five or six. Or maybe even more. We're going to say it's going to be second down and 20 to go. So right now it appears the Macon Central line is really dominating this game early in the ball game. Stigall and White in the backfield. Give us the first man through, White. But he is hit and brought down after only gaining three yards. Tony Moore on the tackle, number 40 that time. Cougars really can't get anything going here early in the ball game. Third down and appears to be 16. Go, boys. Something. 
Back to pass to start, looking for somebody. Airs it out to number 25, Josh Chandler. He has him long, but it was just broke up by number 14. Good throw by Tharp that time. Tharp had, had, had decent blocking that time as he's able to get the pass away, but it's just broken up at the last second by number 14 for the Vikings, so tough break there for the Cougars. But that was a good throw by Tharp that time. Was right in step with Chandler. But that's going to be another punt for the Cougars as Rusty Stegall is set to kick it away. Good snap, Stegall. Low, I guess spiraling punt you can call it. It's picked up by number 10. And there is a big shot on Josh Chandler. As there is a flag on the play. And Josh Chandler is still down on the field right now as he took a big shot to the head that time. Tackle made by Rusty Stegall. And we're back as it's first to 10 for the Vikings. Josh Chandler was able to walk up off the field on his own feet. And that is going to be the end of your first quarter of action here. The Cougars are down 15 to nothing. Tackle made that time by number 51, Joel Bright. And <laughs> yeah, the scoreboard says 15 to nothing, if you can't tell it. But we'll be back after this. <laughs> I won't do that again. I'll just <laughs> go on what you say. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take it back to the TV station now, put the marshals in, we'll go back to Eddie's field. All right, we're back. Second down and six to go for the Vikings. Thompson's your quarterback. And there's a whistle on play. But I don't see no flags anywhere. And it's going to be offsides on the offense, so back him up five yards, put the ball on the 45-yard line. Back him up five yards. I didn't see any flags on the play that time. I guess the referees just decided not to throw them and just blow the whistle, save themselves a little bit of energy. So it's going to be second down and 12 to go for the Vikings. Thompson's the quarterback. Get to the second man through. The ball comes loose, but he was unable to pick it up. But he was able to hold on to it that time. Opportunity lost that time by the Cougars. Is number 22 was not able to hold on to the ball, really, once he got the handoff as he was fumbling it forward. But the fumble was good to gain about four yards on the time. So it's going to be third down and, I want to say, seven to go. Thompson's your quarterback. Steps in and fakes, but he's going to be a pass. Rolls out. It's complete to number 99. The big man rumbling down the field, able to catch the pass and pick up the first down for the Vikings. Higginbotham on the reception that time. Tell you what, that could be a scary sight, seeing a big man like that coming down the field after, after he catches the pass. The Cougars were able to wrestle him out of bounds that time. First down and 10 to go. Vikings on the move again. Give this to the first man through, and Joel Bryant makes the hit and the tackle. Along with Bryant on the tackle that time was number 40, Matthew White. Matthew White, number 51, Joel Bryant. Second down and six to go for the Vikings. Keeper by the quarterback, Thompson. He's going to run this one in. Thompson takes it in from nine yards out.
That makes her score 21 to nothing. Vikings rolling here early in the ball game. The extra point attempt is up and it is no good. So your score remains 21 to nothing. Making Central over your Calhoun Academy Cougars. And we will be back after this. Hmm? Yeah, we're just going the <laughs> We'll let Vernon figure it all out. We got the cheerleaders in the pyramid and I look down it's too late. I don't know if I do that very often. I'm sure you get Miranda on there. Of course she she was out there helping us. He's a little cool. And we're back as we're ready to set things off here. Your score 21 to nothing with 10-28 here left until halftime. Homecoming night here at Billy D. Cook Field. The kick is back and it appears that it's going to go to number 21, Brian Allen. Brian looking for a place to run, looking for some blockers, can't find any. That's nothing but yellow around him that time as he looked like he only ran for about 10 yards. So right now, what's really killing the Cougars is the failure to block, really and truly. That's been the story the whole night as Stegall and White have been getting hit in the backfield throughout the whole ball game. But the Cougars are going to take over. First down and 10 to go on just past the 25-yard line. Pitcher quarterback White and Stigall in the backfield. Give the first man through Matthew White and White fights forward for looking at a game of about five yards, but there was a flag thrown on the play. Here, go, here you go, Josh. 81. Right. Face mask against the Vikings is going to be the call. And it's going to be a 15-yard penalty, so that's going to give the Cougars the first down. <laughs> we'll take a look at the Cougars cheerleader. <laughs> and so it's going to be first down. Give the second man through. Rusty Stegall. Rusty Stegall looking for a place to run. Rusty Stegall appears that he's going to gain a, maybe a yard. We'll say we'll give Stegall a yard on the play, so it'll be second down and nine to go. The Vikings are doing a good job on defense of attacking as soon as they see who gets the ball. About four or five Vikings on each tackle. Let's give the first man through. He's hitting the backfield, and there it is again. We'll count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Vikings around the ball that time. Tackle made by Hickenbotham, number 99. Pepper Watts checks into the ball game. So we'll go out to the receiver position. Stigall White in the backfield. Other receivers going to be Matthew White. Tharp is still your quarterback. Third down and 10 to go. Tharp rolls out looking for someone to pass to. Dumps it off to number 40, Matthew White. As he rumbles forward, it's like it's going to be close to a first down, maybe a yard shy. He could both them knocked him out of bounds that time. Had to get just past the 45-yard line to pick up the first down. Appears that they're going to be just shy. But the officials are going to want to measure this one. So nice little quick attack that time by the Cougars, able to pick up what looks to be close to a first down. I believe they're just going to be just a couple of lengths shy as the officials bring it out to measure it. We'd like to read you our sponsors of tonight's ball game. Sponsoring tonight's ball game is going to be Kelwood Company and Kelwood Factory Outlet, Parker Brothers Trucking and Derma, 
TDS Telecom, Incorporated of Calhoun City, Chandler Drugs, Hawking Motors Company, Calhoun Apparel Incorporated, Prior Funeral Home, Calhoun City, Southern Discount Drugs, Tri-State Termite and Pest Control, Clarksdale, Merchants and Farmers Bank in Bruce, Warehouser Company of Bruce. Especially tonight is Bonnie's Paget Informal Wear. She was probably sponsoring most of the girls in their dresses tonight in Homecoming. The Pontoc Electric Power Association, Step Saver Pharmacies, and Wicks Big Star and Bruce Sporting Goods. And District 23, Representative Joey Griss, Bruce Furniture Industries, a Klausner Company. Back to action, Kenneth Th Tharp steps under as quarterback. It appears that he tried to make a little quick stab to gain the extra yard they needed, but nothing doing is making Central just blew the Cougars line back into the backfield. It appears that no gain is given on the play. So it's going to be fourth down and inches to go. Good news for the Cougars. Josh Chandler has come back onto the football field as he was down a while ago. Like the trainers were looking at his hip, but he was able to come back to, to the ball game. It appears that that was the fourth down play for the Cougars. So the Cougars go out on downs that time as the Vikings get taken over in good territory on their 45-yard line. Thompson steps in as quarterback. Give is to number 20 as the ball come through, come off loose that time. He's able to fall back on top of it. Number 20 is going to be Reed. Appears that he fumbled that ball forward for about one yard. Brings up second down and nine to go. Your score is 21 to nothing with 8.22 as the clock rolls here left until halftime. Give it to the second man through as the hit was put on that time by Matthew White. Pierce at number 20 just brought the ball past the 50-yard line, marked down on the 49, which is going to be third down and about four to go. Right now, there's like a lot of confusion on the field for the Cougars. As we're all looking at Jeff King, the head coach of the Cougars, calling in the defensive plays. Third down and four to go. Thompson's your quarterback. Give it to the second man through. There's Brian Allen there as he tried to go around the end. Brad Hubbard made the initial hit to slow him down. Brian Allen stops him. It appears that it's going to be a gain of about two or three maybe. He got a very generous spot that time. As it appeared that Brian Allen had him stopped around the 44, 43 yard line, but they mark it at just shy of the 45, so it's going to be fourth down and one to go. And there's a flag on the play. Appears that they had a little motion before the ball was snapped. It's in the backfield of the Vikings, so it should be against the Vikings to back them up five yards. So instead of it being fourth down and one, it's going to be fourth down and six to go, so we'll see if. The Vikings have let you punt it away this time and pin the Cougars back deep once more if they want to go for it. So fourth and six is what the Vikings have in front of them. Score 21 to nothing with 6.57 and counting until halftime. It appears that the Vikings are going to let you go for it, so the Cougars really need to hold them here on defense if they want to get any kind of stand. Number 10, Thompson about to pass to number seven, wide open. Lucky for the Cougars that time that he fell down as there was nobody. And when I'm saying nobody, I'm talking about the closest person being to him was on the other side of the field. Number seven would have been able to just walk that one into the end zone. Break there for the Cougars, but that does give the first down to the Vikings. But some of the Cougars that time was thought the Vikings were going to punt since it was fourth down and six. Kenneth Tharp was back in the punt punt return position who should have been covering the man that time 
So a little miscommunication on defense that time for the Cougars. Hurts them in the long run as he gives the second man through. Number 20, Reed, as he rumbles forward for a game, loses about three yards. The Vikings are getting what you want to do, gain about three or four yards a run. That's going to give you a first down every time. If you think about it, three yards or four yards a play, you get three plays, that's 12 yards to pick up the first down. So the Cougars defense really hasn't stepped up to the plate tonight. Pitch out to number 20, Reed. It's being chased down from behind by Thomas Carden. It had his feet knocked out from under him by number 52, Brad Hubbard. So there's a break. There's a good job for the defense that time. Pursuit by Card. And finishing off by number 52, Brad Hubbard. Both seniors this year at Calhoun Academy. So that's going to bring up third down and a loss of one yard. So it's going to be third down and 11. 5.26 and counting until halftime. Thompson steps under his quarterback. Reed dots the eye in the backfield. Reed having a good ball game tonight. Averaging about three or four yards of play. Back to pass. Passes deep. And just through the hands of number 22. That had six written all over at that time. Wesley Morrow let the ball slip through his hands that time or that would have been another touchdown. For the Vikings, it's five minutes even there's left on the clock. Fourth down and 11 to go. <laughs> Roll out to pass again is Thompson. He goes for the same man. And he just could not hold on, so that's going to be a turnover on downs by the Vikings as the Cougars have four minutes and 52 sec seconds to get it down the field and score before halftime. Cougars take over at the 25 yard line. Cougars looking for anything really to get started tonight on offense or defense, sort of struggling on both. The making Central Vikings line has really been the story all night, just dominating the defensive offensive line of the Cougars. White and Stigall in the backfield. Watts and Allen, your receivers. Tharp is still your quarterback. Ooh. Like a little miscommunication play that time as number 65 hit Tharp hard in the backfield. Looks like number 65 come through the line untouched that time. And Calhoun Academy is going to call a timeout. Needless to say, Coach King is not going to be happy with the way his boys are performing right now. And with that timeout, we are going to go to a break. Cook Field as his second down and 15 to go for the Cougars. White and Stigall in the backfield. Tharp is your quarterback. Watts and Allen is your receivers. Tharp back to pass. Quick pass across the middle to Pepper Watts. And Watts takes a shot that time after the pass was incomplete. Pass intended for number 10. Pepper Watts, as you saw, Watts got punished that time. But there was a flag on the play. It's going to be 
It's going to be a personal. I don't want to say a personal foul because that's in basketball, but really, I guess you say unnecessary roughness that time against the Vikings. 4.30 left here until halftime. 10-yard penalty gets the ball up to the 36-yard line, be third down and nine to go. Tharps give to Stigall. Stigall didn't hold on to the ball that time as it bounced off his shoulder pads, but Stigall is able to get the ball back. So a loss of four on the play that time, or we'll say loss of five on that fumble, so it's going to be fourth down and six from what was third down and one. Looks like there's a lot of confusion on the field right now between the Cougars. And the Cougars are going to call a timeout. With that timeout, we're going to take and read a list of our sponsors for the ball game. Chandler Drugs, Prior Funeral Home, Southern Discount Drugs, all of Calhoun City, and Bonnie's Patrick Farmer Wear of Bruce. We have Bruce Telephone Company, Pontiac Electrical Power Association, Step Saver Pharmacy, Wix Big Star, Bruce Sporting Goods, District 23 Representative Joey Griss, Bruce Furniture Industries, a Klausner Company, the Smokehouse Restaurant and Barbecue Company, Grassani Revel Motors of Oxford, Hunter's Hollow of Oxford, Step Saver Pharmacy of Bruce. And I'd like to tell everybody starting Tuesday, September the 25th, the Smokehouse is going to start a lunch buffet, home-style cooking. It's available from 11.30 a.m. until it's gone, Tuesday through Friday. Eat in or take out, $5 inclu inclusive. So fourth down and appears to be six to go. Rushy Stigall is back to punt. Bad snap. Stigall looking to make something of nothing, just throws it up. Good job, Stigall, that time just to make... Something out of nothing for the Vikings got the ball back in better field position with 3.38 left on the clock. Really, a hate to say this, but a terrible snap that time. The snap just rolled out from under the center and rolled about three or four yards. Stigall was able to get it and just throw it up the field, hoping that it wouldn't be picked off or just did it were to be down. Where the Vikings will take over where the ball started at the 32-yard line. Thompson steps under as your center quarterback. Get to the second man through. Reed, Reed tears it open as he was tripped up by number 51, Joel Bryant, and finished off by number 40, Matthew White. Three minutes left here until halftime. And we're back. It appears as the Vikings were just short of that first down that time. B second down and one to go. Give is to the second man through. Reed. Looks like Reed's going to turn it up. And fights his way forward for another touchdown. Give credit to the line that time, really blowing the defensive line off that time and opening up the hole for Reed as he is able to run that one. 22 yards for the score to make it 27 to nothing. Here with 2.47 left until halftime. Willie McGee, number 65, ready to take on the PAT. But it was blocked by number 51, Joel Bryant. So your score remains 27 to nothing, 247 left here in the, until halftime. And we'll be back after this break.
first one going on there tonight. Yeah, first take. Is it going to be probably about an hour and 30 minutes? That's whatever that means right there. Compared to the homecoming ceremony, it'd be probably about oh. 30. Yeah. This tape's almost used up, probably. Maybe that's what's left on the tape. And we're back as Willie McGee is set to kick off here. Good kick. It appears that it's going to go back to number 24, Thomas Card. Thomas Card looking to go up the sideline. Card lowers his head and gets whatever he can as there was – really he ran to the side where there was no blockers or anything over there for the Cougars. So Thomas Card on the return of about 15, maybe 18 yards that time. First down and 10 to go. Ball is spotted on the – 28 yard line. First attempt for the Cougars. <laughs> Kenneth Tharp is your quarterback. White and Stigall in the backfield. Give this to the first man through. White fighting, trying to get anything he can. As he has hit hard as soon as he crossed the line of scrimmage. Appears that he might have picked up about three on the play. We'll say he picked up three, so it'll be second down and seven to go for the Cougars. 224 and counting left until halftime. Tharps your quarterback, White. And still on the backfield, Brown and Allen, your receivers, back to pass. Quick pass over the middle. It's deflected straight up in the air. As Allen took a shot that time, as I guess the referees are going to say he was going for the ball, but Allen is still down on the field right now. As he said, he took a shot in the back by one of the Vikings. As you see there, there is Brian Allen down on the field. And we'll go to a break and be back after this injury timeout. All right, focus. Zoom in on him, and we'll come back and back on. And we're back as Allen is able to walk off the field, as you see, on his own good. But he did take a hard shot in the back that time as he went up for the pass. So it's going to be third down and seven to go for the Cougars with... 156 left here until halftime. Your score is 27 to nothing in favor of the Bacon Vikings. Tharp is looking somewhere to pass as he was tackled that time. And we'll say there's three players in the backfield, but number 65, Higginbotham, sacked the quarterback that time, Tharp. So right now, the Bacon Central line is getting the best of the Cougars right now as they're able to get in the backfield every time. And the Cougars are going, once again, we'll have to punt it away with 126 and counting left. See if the snap will be better this time for the Cougars as Stigall's back to punt. As Thompson is back to receive. And there again is another timeout called by the Cougars. 
Well, I can wait if I have to. I mean, if you want to finish up something on the tape, they finish now the quarter, I can wait. Yeah, will see the half of it in a minute, 15 seconds, if it's time out. Right? Well, I'll unwait if I need me to. Okay. I need to get two quarters in that tape anyway. Yeah, it'll be a whole half. Do y'all, uh, when y'all take the break, do I need to scan over to where it starts back before I start recording, or do y'all let it go? We just, we, we didn't, we didn't stop this no time. We just let it run the whole time. Let it run the whole yeah. time. Yeah. I don't stop recording to it until I see the players playing again. Or? Uh, probably. That'd be the best thing. Or just, just listen to it if you can. See what. And we're back. Fourth down, and it appears to be 20 to go for the Cougars. Rusty Stigall is back to punt. Thompson is back to receive for the Vikings. High snap that time, but he was able to get it back to Stigall. Stigall kicked it off the tip of his toe. Bounces at the 45, took it to 50. Number 10, Thompson is going to take and try to reverse field, but there is Pepper Watts able to tackle him. No return on the play that time. The ball is going to be marked at the 50. Looks like just behind the 50-yard line where the Vikings will take over. First down and 10 to go with the lead. 27 to nothing over your home, Standing Cougars. Nice night for football here at Billy D. Cook Field. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Thompson is still your quarterback for the Vikings. Pitch out to Reed. Reed getting excellent blocking that time from his line. And that time right there, Luke Pierce at number 24, Thomas Card is down as he got sandwiched in between two players that time. Really just took a hard shot in between two players. So there's another cooker down on the play. So far tonight, we've seen Josh Chandler and Brian Allen come out of the ball game. This is going to be your third player tonight, Thomas Card. But this, this uh, almost said Minnesota Vikings, this making Central Vikings team is really physical tonight. You know, on paper, it looked like the Cougars would have had the upper hand against this team, but it looks like the Vikings have come out and tried to get revenge for last year as the Cougars went to their homecoming and beat them on their own field 14-13 to 13 last year. So the Vikings are coming back wanting revenge for what the Cougars did to them last year, doing it the same way as beating them on their home on their homecoming night. Speaking of homecoming, I'd like to say congratulations to Casey Crump, named homecoming queen here at Calhoun Academy. As we scan back, Thomas Carr is still down on the field. As I was saying, this by record-wise, it looked like the Cougars would have been at the upper hand also. Two and three is the Cougars' record. And right now, the one and five Vikings are have the upper hand in the ball game, 27 to nothing. But as we've seen in past ball games, the Cougars have really been a second-half team able to bring it together at halftime. As we saw here last time with highlights, the Cougars were trailing 21 to nothing against uh, what is suspected to be one of the teams to contend for the, I guess you could say, single-A championship as Thomas Carr comes off the field. As they was able to hold them scoreless as they kept their starters in. The Cougars held up big against them, just unable to put anything across the goal line in the second half, but was able to stand up big defensively against Rosville, Tennessee two weeks ago. And also did the same thing last week as they was able to score three touchdowns. They almost come back in the fourth quarter to beat East Holmes Academy in a division game, but unfortunately was not able to as Thompson gives the ball to Reed. Reed trying to work his way to the outside. And tackle made that time by number 10, Pepper Watts. <laughs> 20 seconds left here until halftime. Making center to want to try to get off one last play. Gets it to Reed. Reed getting good blocking, cuts it back up the middle. It was stopped there for the hit was number 30, Michael Cavanaugh. Along with him was number 51, Joel Bryant, the senior. 
both seniors this year. Seven seconds left on the clock. It appeared that Beckins, it appeared that they picked up the first down. Beckett Center is going to try one last play to strike here as they pitch it out to Reed. But Reed is hitting the backfield. Nothing doing as Brad Hubbard gets back there and makes the stop. Now with that, your score is 21 to nothing here at halftime. Homecoming night at Calhoun Academy. And we'd like you to stay tuned for the second half of action as we'll be coming up to you as soon as we get this back to the station. And we'll be back with the second half of action after this. Tonight here from Billy D. Cook Field. Homecoming night. It is not going the way the Cougars wanted. I'd like to say congratulations to Casey Crump for being named homecoming queen this year. But be sure and stay tuned for the rest of the action we'll have bring it to you tonight. Of course, a big ball game tonight is going to be the Bruce and Houston ball game. Always look forward to those type of ball games. Give this to Rusty Stegall up the middle. Stegall able to cut across field, cut across gain. Grain it appears that he was close. Uh, looked like his arm went across the plane, but I believe the referees say he was going to be down. It looked like a touchdown to me, but it did stop the clock with 25 seconds left here in the third quarter. Stegall, good piece of running, about 20 yards that time, denied by I want to say by a half a yard from scoring. So it's going to be first down and goal to go for the Cougars. Watch as your quarterback, White, stick out in the backfield. Brown and Allen is your receivers. Give is going to be to the Stigall. And Stigall is denied once again. Five seconds and counting as that's going to run out the clock here. No sign. As the appears there's a... And now back to the action. Your new quarterback is going to be number 24, Thomas Card, leaving White and Stigall in the backfield. Second down and inches to go to go to score. And it's a fumble, and that's something you come to expect in between the first snap of the quarterback not being able to get the ball off to his running back. So that's just been the story all night for the Cougars. Joe, nothing really going their way. Knocking on the door, scoring that time, but as you saw, fumbled it away once again. So the Vikings are going to take over at about the four to five yard line. Again, it looked like earlier to me that Stigall had dove in for the score, but the referee said he was down before he got the ball across the plane. The pylon was not down in the middle of that, so I don't know what the ruling is at in high school. I know in the pros, if the pylon is not down, it's considered part of the end zone, so it's supposed to give him six. But that was not the case here, as it looks like the option was on, but the Cougars were able to stop it that time. On the tackle is going to be number 11, Tyler Parker, along with him is number 40, Matthew White. Second out and nine to go. The give to it was to number twenty, Reed. And Reed was able to scamper forward. It appears that he picked up the first down, and he did. So he brought the ball out to the 20. We'll make that the 15-yard line. Good piece of running that time. I guess you could say a big lick that time by number 66 on Jeremy Brown. Really could have thrown a flag there because the play was so almost over, but referees, I believe, are just going to try to run this clock out and let the ball game get over with as this one has gotten out of hand. 41 to nothing is your score with 10 minutes left. Tom. 
Thompson has come back into the ball game as your quarterback. Armstrong is your new running back in the backfield. Pitch out is to Armstrong, and there on the tackle, trip him up was number 24, Thomas Card. To finish him off was number 52, Brad Hubbard, and along with him was number 72, Brandon Lofton. As you take a shot of the cheerleaders right there as they cheer their team on here. 41 to nothing, 920 and counting left in the ball game. Third down and I will say six to go for the Vikings. Give this to the second man through. It appeared to number 51, Joel Bryant, the senior, on the tackle. Haley on the carry for the Vikings. Looks like he is maybe a few inches shy of the first down. But it's going to be fourth down and inches to go. They are going to go for it. Quick snap. Quarterback took it up the middle, Thompson, and he picked up the first down. I'd like to thank Chandler Drugs, Prior Funeral Home, Southern Discount Drugs, and Bonnie's Pageant, and Formal Wear for sponsoring the ball game tonight. To give it to the second man through. And he looked like he picked up the the first down, I don't know. We'll have to look. And see. I can't really see the second marker. It's turned sideways. Now I'm able to see where it is. It's second will be second down and I want to say a short two to go. As the Vikings are rolling here, they're going to try 41 to zero. Really able to take it over ground and in the air as Reed is the ball carrier. Cougars line is just not able to get in the backfield to stop them that time or throughout the whole ball game as they picked up a, yet another first down. So it's going to be first down and 10 to go from the 45 yard line. Thompson is your quarterback. Give is to Reed as he cuts it off to the right side. Tackle made by number 55, Cody Weeks. I'd like to remind everyone to please stay tuned for the rest of your action that will be coming to you from TV7 tonight. And also be sure to catch the ball games on tomorrow. Pitch out is to Armstrong as he tries to turn on the outside. And he was tripped up by Brian Allen that time. Makes the tackle. Also to assist right there was Jeremy Brown. Number 22, Mario. Okay. Tackle made by number 21, Brian Allen. They threw a flag, but they said there is no flag on the play. They picked it up. So that's going to make it, I believe, third down. And a short four to go. Armstrong is your quarterback now as he gives back to Mims, number seven. He tries to turn on the outside. It appears that he did have enough for the first down. I don't know if you can see that on television that time, but Rusty Stegall up here either took out the cheerleader sponsor or some lady sat on the sidelines. I want to say that's probably hit of the ball game. Really can't see her anywhere right now. I just happened to catch that by looking up. That was a good shot. I hate to say it by Rusty Stegall. 
but it was solid. <laughs> to give his to Mims and nothing doing as he's tackled at the line of scrimmage by number 51, Joel Bryant. Joel Bryant doing a good job really and truly for the Cougars this season at the line. He's the center for the Cougars, also a senior this year, so this ball game is not going the way that he wanted it to, this being his last homecoming to play here at Billy D. Cook Field. Your score is 41 to nothing with 30 with three minutes and 40 seconds left in the ball game. Give is to the second man through Mims. Mims is going to the outside. Breaks one tackle from Brown. Breaks another one. He's really running for his life, just slipping out from everybody. And I believe I saw a flag thrown. Yes, there was a flag thrown on the on the play. But Mims just scampering and slipping through the Cougar defenders that time, able to pick up a lot of yardage. But I believe it's going to be called back. I to see. And yes, it is holding against the Vikings. So negate that run. Good piece of running by Mims that time, but it was brought back on the holding call. So for what would have been a first down, it's going to be second down, and I believe 20 to go. Ball is placed on the 46-yard line. Give it to the second man through and nothing doing that time as Joel Bryant was able to get through along with number 40, Matthew White. Matthew White also a senior on this Cougars team, a transfer this year, his first year as being a Cougar. Doing an excellent job on offense also tonight, playing the fullback position. And there's the pitch back to Mims and nothing doing. As it looked like Coach King just sent the whole everybody that time as Michael Cavanaugh is the first one off that pile of making the tackle. Along with him is number 24, Thomas Card, and number 55, Cody Weeks. And Mims appears to be slow getting up on his knees at the 45-yard line. And we will go to a break with that. And for the first time in a while, the Vikings are going to be forced to punt with fourth down and what appears to be 13 to go. Back to receive is going to be Brian Allen. Higginbotham to punt. Almost blocked by Cody Weeks. Ball takes a Cougar bounce and a Cougar roll. And it's down by his brother, the other Higginbotham. Number 99. So that's where the Cougars will take over first and 10. One minute and 22 seconds left here at homecoming night at Calhoun Academy, Billy D. Cook Field. 41 to nothing is your score. The clock is rolling. So you see the Cougars bringing the ball up to bring the line up is quarterback's going to be Thomas Card. Give it to number 31, Rusty Stegall. And that's been the story of the whole night. Really and truly the line not doing their job tonight for the Cougars as Stegall has been hit many times behind the line of scrimmage. As you see, he's brought down there for a loss of about four. <laughs> 40 seconds and counting left here in the ball game. Really a shocker to me, really and truly, if this score is in this shape, that I was expecting to be a little bit closer of a ball game, Looked to be pretty close on paper. And a matter of fact, I believe the Cougars were expected to win this by 14 points. But as you see there, another miscommunication between the handoffs between White and Card, because Card's the third-string quarterback. 
Oh. And Card was shaken up earlier in the ball game. It appears that he is shaken up again with 13 seconds left on the clock. I'd like to remind everyone to stay tuned for the rest of the action brought to you tonight on TV7. And also tomorrow, the ball games to be played. Of course, if you was unable to get out to Houston tonight, the big matchup between Bruce and Houston will be played as we're covering it, covering six ball games. So a lot of football action for you to watch. High school action tomorrow on TV7. Also, it's a key matchup. Also, it's got everyone's interest. It's going to be the Ole Miss and Auburn. The Ole Miss meets Tommy Tuberville matchup. So that's going to be a big ball game. Of course, Lou Holtz is going to be visiting Mississippi State in Starkville tomorrow. So that's going to be really, truly, it should be a close game. But they say a lot of people are going to turn out to see Lou Holtz. It's going to be the first time ever to visit the state. Of course, Lou Holtz is once the great coach for Notre Dame. Tried to turn the South Carolina crew around, and he's got his work cut out for him, as he said in many of his interviews. But I believe Lou Holtz is a good enough coach that he will have this team turned around in a couple of years. But 10 seconds left in the ball game, as you see Card coming out of the ball game. We'll see who the fourth string quarterback is, and that is going to be Rusty Stegall getting under center, and he is not able going to be able to get a snap as the clock runs out. And unfortunately, this is your score, homecoming night. Bacon Central gets their revenge from their Calhoun Academy beating their homecoming last year, 14-13. Your final score, 41 to nothing here at Billy D. Cook Field. For Adam Gore and Josh Morgan, I want to wish you all, all a good night and see you all next week on TV.